A 2021 study by CityData.com, though, shows that about 50% of those living in Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood never completed high school, which is directly tied to the median household income of just under $29,000. Brian Jackson joins us now with more. Brian, good morning. Good morning, you guys. Well, kids who grew up in that neighborhood, they have the odds stacked against them. But a woman who is known as the mother of Inglewood, she's providing unconditional love, a safe space, and hope. This is Latanya Johnson. Every day after school, you find her in this van driving across Inglewood to pick up her students. She's been running an after school and tutoring program since 2013. The goal was to give structure to kids who needed a safe place to go after school. There's parents that saying, hey, I know there's a program, you know, you, you're at work, your kids don't have to be at home alone, you know, by themselves and things like that. There's somewhere for the kids to go. Basically, that's it. Um, and just make sure that the kids come, you know, if, if, this was, if this is what you need for us to be able to work and be able to do what you need to do, that's why I come in at. It's like to help the parents out. So I'm here to help the parents and the kids. Although the program is free, there is an application process. After picking up the kids from school, Latanya brings them back here to the Ogden Park and Recreation. Pull your homework out, Tashana. Let's go. This is where the program originally started. Over the last 10 years, there have been other locations, but it's been hard to maintain their own space due to a lack of funding. So a lot of people have said that like that and said, you know what, this just wasn't yeah. meant to be. So what keeps you going? Look at the faces over there. You see those smiling faces over there? They keep me going. There was times that I was picking these kids up on the bus where I didn't have transportation. You know, so I was picking these kids up on the bus and dropping them off, so that gets me home at 10 o'clock. Then I got to get up and, you know, get my kids ready for school. That sacrifice is setting an example for current students and alumni of the after-school program. I remember that everybody who helped me, like, I'm so good about it. And I'm probably going to come back here to check out some other kids when I grow up and just help them out just like she did to me. It allowed me to keep my innocence because I had a lot of friends who weren't able to do that and they grew up getting into gang violence or some things that they shouldn't have been there. Um, and they're still in those things to this day. Like they haven't, you know what I'm saying, grown out of that yet, if they ever will, honestly. And I had um, this like one best friend who used to stay down the street from me in middle school, um, who was in gang violence, he sadly passed away. So that was like another huge thing that like told me like, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to be in that at all. Monday through Friday, maybe sometimes on Saturday, it may even be a Sunday because again, the kids, they might even call. Sometimes they can be going through stuff. So if they going through something, I'm, it's, it's like, hey, I'll pick you up what we, you know, that's about. You know, so sometimes I'm just Monday through Sunday. They call me Mother Inglewood because every time you see me, the kids is with me. Well, Italian says she's able to keep this going through donations that she receives here and there, sometimes from small businesses or sometimes from people. But she says she's willing to do whatever she can to keep these doors open for these kids. Her goal is to eventually get their own building. If you would like to donate to LaTanya and the youth of Inglewood, please visit this story on fox32chicago.com. And I absolutely love that story and love what she is doing. Yeah, like, she's definitely doing a lot of good things for that community. Absolutely. And